Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name's Elena and I love all things makeup and beauty. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you my eyeshadow palette collection. Y'all, we have 70 plus, 70 plus palettes to go over today. So with that being said, if you like that kind of content, if you just like relaxing videos, something to sleep with, you guys came to the right video, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a blanket, pillow, whatever you want to get comfy with. It's going to be a long one, but if you like the kind of content, then definitely keep on watching. So we have the NARS Extreme Effects palette, and I'm not going to go in length with every single palette because if I were, we would be here for years. Um... So yeah, so we have this palette, very, very beautiful. Now this palette, the black in here, it has a big dent in it. I do a full face of makeup, like literally my whole face. So I did use this black for one of my makeup looks and it actually really turned out really nice. I really enjoyed it, but we have this mauve tone. We have this beautiful orange. I love this palette. The quality of this is so, so good. Next we have the Meraki palette from Lorac. And this palette, let me tell you, is super nice. I am in love with this palette. I've never had a problem with this palette whatsoever at all. It performs amazing. The color story, yes, it may be neutral, but it's a really pretty neutral. We have mauvies, we have warm, we have cool tones, we have all of it. So yes. Then we have the Huda Beauty, the new mood, the new nude palette. And this is a newer palette in my collection. And let me tell you, so I've never used Huda Beauty before, okay? Never have. And let me tell you, this knocked my socks off. This knocked them off. This was outstanding. It's so beautiful. Like, the quality of this, oh my goodness. Like, why have I not tried Huda Beauty before? Like... Let me tell you, I'm in love with this palette already, and I've used it only twice. Only twice, and this palette already just, like I said, knocked my socks off. So, yes. Next palette we have is from ABH, the Novena, um, Volume 3, if I remember. Yes, Volume 3 palette. This is a big one, and I'm hoping I can get it all in frame for you guys. Maybe a little dark okay yes we can get it all in frame so this palette um is new have not used it yet but it's super super stunning like absolutely stunning it is gorgeous and i cannot wait to use this palette like i love this palette so much like the color story of it it's just beautiful it speaks fall to me if you know me fall is my favorite season so i just cannot wait to play with this like I cannot wait at all. Next, we have the Too Faced Light My Fire palette. And this is just a little cute palette. Very small, very compact, but it is a very good palette. As you see, it is a fall color story. So, of course, this is my favorite type of color story. And this quality is actually really, really good. I've used the heck out of this palette during the fall times, and I just love it so, so much. Next palette we have is the Italian Spritz palette from Too Faced. And this one I actually really enjoy. I, at first, I really, really liked it. And then it got hard pan. The shimmers got hard panned. And I was super, super bummed because I spent my birthday money on this. But here's the thing. I All I had to do was dig into it just a tiny bit. And voila, hard pan all gone. It must have just got hard pan slightly on the top of the shimmers, but otherwise, this is beautiful. This is one of the most good qualities that Too Faced has ever done, in my opinion. I just love this palette so much. So yeah. Next palette we have is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. And this palette was one of my first high-end palettes that I got when starting out with makeup. And... This has a lot of memories to it, and it still smells like cinnamon. It really smells still really good. And I just love this palette. I love it so, so much. 
even though it's neutral, it's just, it has a special place in my heart. So yes. Next palette we have is from Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. And this is my favorite Too Faced palette that I have in my collection. Yeah, I know. It is, what, neutrals and it's my favorite? <clears throat> Who knew? But I didn't, surely. But now I do because the quality of this is just so fantastic. Like, I've never had a problem with this. I just love this palette so much. And if you're starting out with makeup, and you want to get a higher end brand, but you're just starting out, you kind of want to go with neutrals, you want a good quality, everything that's blendable performs well, I would suggest this palette. I would suggest this palette 100%. So yes. And then from Urban Decay, we have the Naked Honey palette. Now this is the only Urban Decay palette I do have. Um, I'm not a big fan of Urban Decay palettes per se i do like their complexion products i mean i've never tried their complexion products but i heard really really good things about them but this palette is the only one that i've kept in my collection i've had quite a bit of urban decay in my collection and i just decluttered them i was not a big fan but this palette actually is pretty nice i i like the palette and i think that the quality of it is actually one of the good urban decay quality so yes Next palette we have is from Sigma. It's the Mini Enchanted palette, and mine did come, it didn't come in broken, so I was gifted this from a beautiful friend, Dubs Beauty Diary, aka Danielle. I will link her channel down below. I'm trying to help her out. Really, you guys, help her out, please. Please help her out. She's trying to get to 500 subscribers, and she is so close. But I did drop this. Um, it, so the shade shattered, so I have to be careful. But I really like the palette of this. I actually used this uh, shade and I found it really, really nice to work with. I find Sigma just really nice to work with. I really enjoy their palettes. So yeah. Next palette from Sigma is the Alice in Wonderland palette. And this is absolutely stunning. I really, really like this palette. I've never had a problem with this palette. It's just beautiful. You see, it's just colorful but it has a little bit of neutrals in it so if you're not so sure what you want to do with the you know color story you have a little bit of variety in here so yeah next we have from mel cosmetics is the earth palette and this one is grungy if you know me i love a grungy color story and this speaks grungy super super beautiful absolutely outstanding formula of this this is just really good i do have two other melt palettes that i will be showing you in here in a second that i've not used yet but i really wanted but besides the point but this one oh my goodness i would never get rid of this and this is not a declutter by the way this is just a collection my declutter does happen in november december ish um but I just love this palette so, so much. So yeah. Then we have from Mel is the Gemini One palette. And this is what the palette looks like. I have not used this palette yet. But let me tell you, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I've heard good things about it. So I cannot wait to play with it. But, and the outside packaging look how beautiful that is that is just so gorgeous and then we have the um melt gemini 2 palette and there is a shade missing and it's that wonky shade that everybody was like thinking there was mold in it so my friend kindly took it out and i was grateful for that because you know i don't use a palette that has some funkiness to it it may may or not be mild the brand said it wasn't it was just how the shadow was but you know if you know, you know, you know, but, um, beautiful mauve tone. We even have this grungy green right here and I can't wait to play with this one either. This one, I cannot wait to play with. Definitely on my list of next palettes to play with. Next palette we have is from Ace Beauté and it is the Serenity palette. And mine is a little messy because I did use the heck out of that orange over there, um, for a full face of makeup. And let me tell you, the quality of this is amazing. It's 
outstanding. I This is the only Ace Beauté palette I do have, but I do want to grab quite a bit more. I know they are rebanding, so I don't know when they're going to come out with another thing for sure, but I really love this palette, so yes. And next, we have my Heather Austin and Adept Cosmetics palette. And if you know, you know, this is my favorite palette. It's, it's just gorgeous you see like we have the shifts to it i don't know if i'll be able to catch it on camera i'm hoping i can yeah we'll just do a little bit of this but this the quality of this is just superb i cannot believe how good this like this palette is like i know adept cosmetics is really good i know that some of their palettes are hit or misses um reckon like the shimmers are but this one did not miss for me. And I hit pan in this shade and a little bit of this one and this shade. And I just love this palette so much. So yeah. Next palette we have is from Nomad, the Feta de Province palette. And this is what the palette looks like. Super beautiful. I really love this palette. At first, I was a little iffy with this palette. But I've come to realize that the palette's really, really nice. Now, is it the best Nomad formula that we've ever gotten? No, it's not. But it's not the worst either. I really enjoy the shimmers. I enjoy the mattes. So, yeah. Next from Nomad, we have the Ghost Town USA palette. And we have the Lacticular packaging. Super, super stunning. Beautiful. And this is what the palette looks like, or at least what my palette looks like. Um, can you guys see? I've hit pan in what? Four shades? Four shades? Yeah, four shades. About to be a fifth one in here. I love this palette. If you can't tell, I love this palette so, so much. I've used the crap out of this palette, as you can see. And this is the good nomad formula like the really really good normal fam nomad formula that we got in and it is back in stock so if you want to grab it you can i would highly recommend grabbing it but i really really love this palette so yes and then we have from nomad is the keys beachy and peachy palettes and this is a really good palette too now i have hit pan in one shade maybe two i'm not so sure i can't really tell from here but you see you guys the color story in here absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous and the quality of this is the good nomad formula i feel like no nomad has just stepped up their game within the past year and a half with their uh formulas and i'm just it's to see what the Halloween release is this year like I cannot wait so yes but this is what the palette looks like super beautiful good quality so yeah okay so next stack we have are my Odin's eye palettes and I have quite a bit of them but we have the floral story palette and this was in collaboration with makeup just for fun she is super cool really love her channel but this is what the palette looks like and it is super beautiful I love the palette of this I, if you know me, I love my greens. I love this blue right here. The blue right here. Mm, I cannot tell you how good it is. But the palette of this, super, super good. Next palette we have is the Solmon 2 palette. And now there is another Solmon palette that just came out. It's like the Moonwish palette or something like that. Um, I do not have it. But this one's super, super beautiful. Now, you see that black? Yeah, it is messy because I've used that black for a full face of makeup. But let me tell you, the quality of this still performs really well. Now, I did have a problem maybe beginning of the year. I wasn't really ecstatic with the quality. But when I first got it, I really, really liked it. Like, it's been a while. This palette's pretty old. So, yeah, the formula is getting a little off. But the last time I used it, I actually enjoyed it. I thought that maybe, maybe I just had to dig into it, you know? But the palette of this, super beautiful. Love the color story, so yeah. Next, we have my favorite Odin's Eye um, palette, and it's the Stone and Rock palette. And this one, I just love so, so, so much. You can see it's grungy, it's green. We have a beautiful duochrome right there. 
and I have used the heck out of this palette also. It may not look like it, but I have. And Odin's Eye Formula is so good that really it may not look like you use the palette, but you probably used it 10 times. It's that good because you don't have to keep digging into it, digging into it. You know, that's why I love Odin's Eye. I just, you know, their palettes just really, really good. So yeah. Next we have the Little Ghost Palette. And this is in collaboration with Angel Kanikovis. And this palette, oh my goodness, ba -ba. you see this palette? Super, super beautiful. I love the palette of this so much. Like, I've never had a problem with this palette. I've never had a problem with the formula, nothing. And Angelica Nikovis, she is such an amazing content creator. I really envy her. I really enjoy her channel, her, like, vibe. And I think she did a really good job with this palette, so yeah. Then, from that collection, we have the Trick or Treat palette, and this one looks like this. Now, this is a little bit of a darker palette, and it's not my favorite from her, but I really do like it. And I did hit pan in one of the shades, and I just feel like this is a really nice palette. Yeah, it is a little darker, and I would like a lighter tone i mean there are light tones but they're too light like a mid-tone like a mid mid-tone and not an orange or a red that just really doesn't go with this um but overall i still love the palette so yeah and then lastly from my odin's eye collection we have the hella palette and this is also in collaboration with angelica nyquist and this is what the palette looks like super super beautiful i am in love with this palette never had a problem with this palette this was like maybe my first indie brand palette that i got i think i think i don't remember quite but i know it was like one of the first um but i love this so much so yeah next stack of palettes we have are my natasha denona palettes and we have the mini starlet palette and this is what she looks like. I really love this palette. Super, super beautiful. The quality of this is amazing. I've never had a problem with this palette whatsoever at all. And I've used the heck out of this. I really do like it. So yeah. So I did change the lighting a little bit. Maybe you can see it a little better. But we have the Aloy palette from Natasha Denona. And this is what she looks like. Super, super beautiful. I enjoy this palette. I really do. It's a neutral palette, but it's a really good neutral palette. So yeah. Then we have the Cupid palette from Natasha Denona. And this one is not my favorite. I did declutter this like two times, but I keep bringing it back in my collection. Who knows why, but it's an okay palette. It's an okay palette. It's not bad by all means, but I just did not enjoy the mats of this. I thought the masks were very patchy, but I do like the shimmers. The shimmers, not bad. But I did get this from BoxyCharm, so yes. Now, we do have a face palette in here, but I do technically consider this um, a eyeshadow palette. And it's the Hyper Natural Face Palette from Natasha Denona. And that, you hear that? That girl needs some oil or something. Um, besides the point. This is very beautiful. I do use this as a face palette though. I will tell you, I do use it as a face palette. I love the blush, love the bronzer. Now the eyeshadows, very metallic, very beautiful. So yeah. And let's just hear this one more time. Yeah, that's annoying. That's next palette we have is my Natasha Denona Yucca palette. And if you know me, this is my favorite palettes in my collection. And y'all know why. <laughs> I've talked about this palette in every single video. Every single video I've had, well, since I've had this palette, to be technical, is I've talked about this too many times, to be honest. But it's just amazing. The formula, the uh, color story, it may be neutral, but it's a grungy neutral. And I just enjoy this. I'm not going to talk about it too much because if I do, I can talk about it for days. And you don't want to be here for days, okay? So, you know what? And I love how this is not squeaky. And the outer packaging, you see this? Super, super beautiful. But, yeah. And then we have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And this one, 
was my first Natasha Denona palette and it was one of my favorite palettes my top favorite palette in my collection for a very long time also until that yucca palette came and it just you know it's just so beautiful and this has sentimental memories this was like one of my first higher end brand palettes i did have a couple but not as colorful as this and not as expensive as this this was my first expensive palette i've ever purchased and it just holds a lot of memories you know so yeah okay so we have the ofra and this is the symphony palette and this is what she looks like now in the middle there is a highlighter but you can use it as an eyeshadow also and it is beautiful let me just tell you that it is beautiful i'm hoping to get more from ofra just because i really love the quality of this and yeah i just I just love this so, so much. So, yes. Now, next we have is the Paradise Cove from Gone Run Girls and Ladybug Glow. And this palette is amazing. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I cannot tell you how much I love this palette. The quality of this, super, super good. Never had a problem. Ladybug Glow and I, we have a special connection amanda she you know she's followed me on instagram we've we haven't really talked per se but we have definitely engaged with each other's post she's just the nicest thing ever and i really just enjoy her and gourmand girls this is the first time i was trying the gourmand girls um formula and i just y'all i just love this so so freaking much okay this is just so so good okay I love this. Definitely check out Gourmand Girls. Definitely check out Ladybug Glow. Two best indie brands out there. Minus, you know, some other indie brands like Nomad, um, Odin's Eye, etc. But smaller, smaller indie brands, okay? The Ladybug Glow is a very small one. Check her out, but not going to rave too much, but yeah. And then we have the palette, the Hunter and the Prey palette from Blair Dale MUA Cosmetics. And Blair and I are really good friends. And this is what the palette looks like. I have hit pan on this. And the formula of this, do not sleep. Do not sleep on it. Now, y'all know the Yucca palette's my favorite, okay? But this, when I tried it for the first time, I was blown away. I mean, like, legit blown away. I don't even know. I don't have any words to explain how good this is. Like, this might be... It's getting up with it. I, I just cannot decide if I like this one better or if I like the Natasha Denona Yuck palette better. Both are just my favorites. And I'm not being biased either. I really not. Like, I'm here to tell you guys the truth about my opinion on palettes. And if I don't like a palette, I'm going to tell you I don't like a palette. Even if it's from my best friend. I will tell you. I don't like it. But this one performs so, so good. So, yeah. And then lastly, for my indie brand palettes, we have the Club Nebula palette. And this was in collaboration with Anjaka Nikovis. This is what she looks like. She is stunning. And the quality of it is so, so good. First time using Kaleidos. And I really enjoyed it. I really did. She is a bulky one, but she is perfect for me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was gifted this from Danielle. Danielle, thank you again. And also, I'm also going to shout out the another person outraging grace aka ashley she has tried so so hard to get to 1k and let's do it okay i'm gonna link her channel down below let's get her to 1k y'all okay let's do it let's even get to dubs beauty diary to 1k heck the 500 let's get her to 1k too okay let's do it you guys we got it teamwork so yeah okay so we have from ColourPop and the billion of palettes i have that are coming up his color pop and we have the swords palette and this is what she looks like super super stunning i love the palette i love swords in general so of course i had to get it and do you see that you see that um packaging right there that's super beautiful super super beautiful the color story neutral but pops of colors i really love this so yeah 
next we have is the Daisy Does It palette. And this one, super, super beautiful. Now, it is neutral, but it is my favorite color pop. It's my favorite color pop palette. And it is neutral, you guys. But it's still my favorite. The quality, the performance of this, super, super good. I never had a problem with this. And I just, you see how cute the packaging is? I just love this palette. I just love it to death. This will stay with me until I die, okay? Put it in my casket, y'all. Put it up there. I'm taking it up with me. So, yeah. Next palette we have is Control Alt Glam from ColourPop. Of course, this is ColourPop. Y'all, I just said this was going to be ColourPop. Uh, besides the point, y'all, this video is so freaking long. And, you know, I love doing these videos. But at the same time, I kind of regret my life decisions doing this. Because it does take quite a bit. One, it takes quite a bit to film. Two, it takes quite a bit to edit. And I have 70 plus palettes, okay? Last time I did my collection video, it was like 50 palettes. Okay, 50. That that's fine. Okay, but 70 plus palettes. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit. You know what? I decluttered last year I started out with 72 palettes. I decluttered 25. And I'm here at 70 plus palettes again. And it's not even the end of the year, guys. And I know I'm having palettes come to me. So, yeah, you know, that's how we, but I've been growing, so, you know, but I gotta stop talking. Y'all are here for the palette collection, not rambling with Elena. Um, but this palette, super, super stunning. Now, I am doing a palette bingo with this palette, ColourPop palette, and a couple others that I will try to mention if I forget to mention. It's not a big deal. But with my friends, with my friend Danielle, so we're going to, I'm going to be filming that video very, very shortly. Um. I just had other videos I wanted to film before that one. And I was sick at one point, so I didn't get to film for a whole week. So I'm kind of catching up on stuff for that. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. Y'all, I had to take a break. Like, my voice was getting so crackly. I got a drink. I'm all good. Let's go. We got the Limoncello palette. And this palette was also gifted from Danielle now some of them I did miss I think that were gifted from her I think I don't remember um it's <clears throat> part of me sorry that was rude of me uh I've been wanting this palette since it first came out and I wasn't into makeup at I mean I was into makeup at that time but I was not spending on makeup at that time um because I wasn't so sure what I wanted to do with my life um, because I was a florist, I was an artist at one time, you know, I did a lot of things. Uh, but now makeup is my primary and I've been doing makeup for two and a half, almost three years now. Um, so yeah, I did stick with that. I guess that's what I'm stuck with. Oh my goodness. Okay. Y'all just noticed like the packaging is like a, I don't know how, like a leather texture. That's cool. Okay. Besides the point, um, I really, really love this palette, this palette brings me lots of joy i've been wanting it and i finally got it and did not disappoint did not disappoint thank you daniel so so much next we have is on a whimsy and this is what the palette looks like super beautiful and this was like one of my few color first color pop palettes i also got so it has sentimental memories to it uh that blue right there you see oh yeah stunning gorgeous but i really like the quality of this so yeah next palette we have is it's a mood and if you know me i've been wanting this palette <laughs> for a long time and i've been raving about this palette i'm like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it y'all i finally finally got it and i didn't have to pay a single cent you know why because my best friend dub beauty diary Danielle gifted me this. And you know how happy I was when I got this? I was ecstatic. But besides the point. But this is what the palette looks like. You see why? Like, if I were to do a collaboration with any type of brand, 
this would be the kind of color story I would put in my palettes. Um, we have some glitters, but I actually don't mind glitters. I'm one of those few to know people that actually like pressed glitters. Um, so yeah, just stunning. Just stunning. I have no words. I have no words. It's a mood, you guys. It's a mood. And then we have the Your Golden Palette, and I am trying to get all of this in frame. Hoping I do. I'm checking my viewfinder. Um, this palette, let me tell you, just... This palette rocked my block. It is a neutral palette. It does have some color to it. It does have a beautiful pressed glitter that has some purple in it. Um, just take that out a little bit, but, you know... You see that? I don't know if you can probably, you probably can, but besides the point, uh, this is just really, really good. Really love the palette. It's neutral, but my first mega palette and this would did not disappoint. Okay. Did not disappoint. I'm so glad I got this palette. So yeah. Okay. Next are my nine pat nine pan palettes and we got this high tide palette. Now this is one of the ones for the palette bingo also and this is just stunning this was maybe my first color pop palette i think i got i think it was the first color pop palette i ever got so of course this is going to hold a lot of sentimental memories but very very nice very blue love it so so much next palette we have is in the limelight and i was gifted this one from danielle seriously Y'all hear that honking of the horn? Oh, I just stopped, but how rude. Okay, besides the point, how rude. This I've been wanting so bad, and it is discontinued. I don't know why ColourPop discontinued this palette. Like, this was one of the best palettes, color stories that they ever did. Like, let me tell you, I'm going to be ranking my ColourPop palettes pretty soon. After I used the color, the um, palettes... I just love this one just love this one so so much i just love greens so yeah next we have the child palette and this is what she looks like super stunning very grungy i love a good grungy story color story and i've been wanting this palette for a long time and i finally got my hands on it and it did not disappoint did not disappoint so glad i have it i love the child Grogu, you are awesome. Star Wars is just awesome in general, but besides the point. You know what? How many times I say besides the point in this video? I have no idea. If you guys are watching and you want to count how many times I said besides the point, put it in down in the comments down below if you want. But hey, I'm going to say it again. Besides the point. So yeah. Next we have is Nude Mood. and Oh, and also that child one is also with the palette bingo. Forgot to mention. Whoopsies, whoopsies, my bad. This one is absolutely stunning. Absolutely a stunning neutral palette. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah. This is also the palette bingo palette. And it's the Mandalorian palette. Mine is dirty because I use the heck out of this palette. This is my favorite neutral slash grungy palette, I would per se. Per se. Uh, the formula is just outstanding. It's just outstanding. Really love the palette. So yeah. And then we have Sage the Day. And this is the last one for the palette bingo one. And this is what she looks like. And this is my favorite top, maybe my top three favorite ColourPop palettes in my collection. Maybe I have accumulated some since I've done my ranking. So I'm not just sure where this ranks at, but I will be doing a ranking. I really love this palette. Super, super nice. Super beautiful. Green, grungy, neutral. You name it. Love it. Next we have is Clearly in Love. And this one, I really like. I really like this palette. I don't really have much to say about it because I have not used it in quite a bit. But I really do love it. So yeah. Next we have is Clear the Air. And this one is my least favorite ColourPop palette, I think. Um, just the color story is not my cup of tea. Now, it is 
beautiful but i just the formula though the formula is really really good i will say that the formula is really good but the color story just not my cup of tea and then we have coast is clear and we also have a hair and this is what she looks like very very beautiful i really enjoy this palette this is my favorite from the little extra celestial collection that i just showed you mauvey beautiful quality amazing then we have fresh greens palettes and this is a target exclusive palette and this is what the palette looks like super super beautiful really enjoy the palette of this the quality super amazing i really just love this palette so yeah and then the last nine pal pan palette that i have from ColourPop is mobbin up and this is what she looks like amazing outstanding beautiful you name it yep okay we have this piece of crap the twist of slate color pop um you guys know i decluttered this but i did keep it for the shimmers um i'm hoping that i can get a z palette sometime soon to pop out the bad boys and then get rid of this because the mats are absolutely terrible in this palette i did get a dud um, just because I heard so many good things about this palette. So, I assumed I got a dud at this point. Hey, that's okay. You know, we win, we lose. You know, that's how life goes. Um, but yeah. Then we have Set in Stone. And that was in the Hold the Stone collection or something. Something like that. I don't know what it was, to be honest. Um, but this one actually was really good. This one I liked. This one did not disappoint really enjoyed so yes then we have clay cool and this is one of my favorite ones that they've done that is like rock theme i guess type of thing earthy theme you know the ground um i really like this one beautiful look that it came out with one of my really nice looks that i've actually I'm, i can't say best because i've made so many good looks but one of my best palette um one of my best looks that i've came up with you guys i've been filming forever so if i twist my words up i do apologize now i'm getting tired also but hey we're almost we're almost there we're almost there you guys almost there so yeah really really love this palette yeah i find it really easy to work with really beginner friendly and then we have sweet as can be from the winnie palu palu i always say palu Winnie the Pooh. Oh my goodness. This one is super, super cute. And the quality of this is super, super nice. I would never be getting rid of this just because I do love Winnie the Pooh. But yeah, really, really love. So yeah. Okay, we got some BH coming up. So we have the BH Blueberry Muffin Palette. And this is what she looks like. This was one of my first BH palettes that I got. And I really enjoyed it. I really do. I really love the palette. I love the color story. I love the quality. So yeah. Then we got Avocado Toast. And this one is super good. You see, it's just a beautiful green color story. And I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing with it. It's just really nice. The quality is really nice. This is the good BH quality. Okay, I really miss BH. They were bought out by um, Makeup Revolution. And since then, they really haven't put out anything. And if they have, it's not the best in my opinion. But I will be holding this here and dear in my heart forever. So, yeah. Then we have from BH is the Sweet Shop Bubblegum um, Palette. And this is what she looks like. Now, I will tell you... the um shimmers of this is really really good i love the shimmers of this palette but the mattes did not perform the best in my opinion i don't know why i just had a really hard time with the mattes in this palette i don't know if it's just me or what but the shimmers though are outstanding next we have is the sugar cone palette and this is a neutral palette but a very beautiful neutral palette. I really enjoy this palette. 
I did have it in my face palette at one time, but since then I've accumulated, accumulated face palettes. So I really haven't needed to get any, um, I didn't really need to use this as a bronzer palette anymore, but I really love it. So yeah. Next we have is from Juvia's Place and it is the Tribe palette. And, ooh. and this is what she looks like. I've been dying to get this palette. Now, it is discontinued, so you can't get your hands on it, but you can always find it on Macari, Poshmark, Depop, whatever. Uh, Facebook market page, I guess, you know. Hey, you know, if somebody wants to sell it, they're going to sell it. So, Dove's Beauty Diary, she gifted me this. So, so, I'm so grateful for that. And I just really love this. I really love the color story, and I cannot wait to play with it. So, yeah. And next we have is the Wilderness Palette from Beauty Bay. And this is what she looks like. Absolutely stunning. Now, this one is also discontinued. But I did get this gifted. And I really, really love this. I, I wanted this palette so, so freaking bad. And I finally got my hands on it. And I'm so happy that I did. And I did use this orange already. Um, and I used this one also. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed the quality of it. So yeah. Now this might be a random palette, but we have this Ellen Tracy palette. And this is what she looks like. I have this palette due to the fact that I actually like it. I actually like this palette. Now, will I declutter it in my future declutter that's going to happen? Yes. Um, I can already foresee it. I do like it, but I have so many palettes, and I cannot be hoarding palettes like this. But I did find it when I was cleaning out my apartment in Ohio, and I decided to give it another try, and I, I liked it. But it's... I don't know. This is like a random palette that I just have in my collection. Now, Ellen Tracy is a very nice brand. I, I do like her brand. But it's, it's going to get decluttered in the declutter when we do that in November slash December. So, yeah. We have another random palette, and it's the LA, LA Colors palette. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. I did like this, and now I don't. <laughs> um, The formula is not good. It wasn't good. It was good at one point, and, like... I can swatch it for you, and it swatches so, so beautifully. Like, you see, it swatches so nice. But when you put it on your eyes, it does not work. It doesn't work on your eyes. I don't know why. It just does not work on your eyes, and so because of that, it's not the best palette. It's not the worst palette either. I've had some pretty bad palettes um, that I have decluttered since, but... I, I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That's all I can say about it. Next we have is the CRT London Velvet Palette. And I have to be super careful opening this because I did break, break this palette. Um, but this is what she looks like. She could look better, but I kept this because the quality of this is so, so good. The shimmers on this is absolutely perfect. So yeah, I love this palette. She did, I did drop her on a hardwood floor and she just decided that she was done. But I was able to revive most of the palette, not all of it, but I really like it. So yeah. And finally, finally, we are down to the last five palettes and it is my e.l.f. Bite Size Palettes. We have rose water. I'm just going to go through these quickly because I'm done for the day. I'm clocking out. We have rose water. We have carnival candy, which I don't know if y'all saw yet what this looks like. This is newer. Um, we have carnival candy. Then we have cream and sugar. We have Akasha U. And then we have 
very bad and all of these are super good formula i enjoy every single one of these i will never be getting rid of these now i did get rid of them at one time i brought them back in my collection because i did miss them so yes okay you guys that is it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i will be back with a lot more makeup and beauty content Till then, you guys stay beautiful, stay healthy, for real, stay healthy, sicknesses are going around. Stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay safe. Bye.